Cotan round 5, problem C, tensing in balls. In this problem, we have n balls in a line, and with these n balls, for any pair of balls that are of the same color, we can remove an array of balls that include those two balls and every ball in between. And for each test case, which consists of an integer n, a number of balls, and n integers, the color of, each, uh, the, color of the balls, we have to output the maximum num number of balls tensing can remove. Our sample output is given as follows. We have two test cases. In our first test case, n is 5, and the color of our five balls are 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3. And in our second test case, the color of our balls are 1, 2, 1, and 2. Let's go over the sample test cases now. In our first sample test case, we have five balls of the colors 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3. In this test case, we can either remove the two 2s or the two 3s, or both. Those are the only two pairs of colors that are the same. Here we can clearly see the maximum occurs when we remove both pairs, so we get an answer of four in this test case. In our next test case, we have four balls of colors one, two, one, and two. What's the maximum we can remove here? The pairs we have are the first one and the third one, or the second two and the fourth two. And we can either remove the first three by removing the two ones, or we can remove the second and fourth and third ball by removing the two, one, and two. Thus, in this case, the maximum number of balls we can remove is three balls. Now let's make an observation in general. Say we have some range AB and some other range CD. When is rooming, removing AB include removing CD? Only when a is less than or equal to c, less than or equal to d, less than or equal to b. In this case, if we remove the range a to b, then we're also including removing the range c to d. Another observation we have to make is that the number of balls n is 2 times 10 to the fifth at max here. So we must find an algorithm that runs it at most n or n log n time. Now in general, at a current step with color ai at ball number n, we have a couple of choices we can do. We can either go back to the previous occurrence of color ai at ball number i, or we can go back to ball number an minus 1. In this case, when we go back to ball number an minus 1, then we're not adding any balls to remove. In the other case, when we go back to ball number i, we have two choices. Either we're going and just removing the range of balls from i to n inclusive, or i is already part of a range of balls being removed. So we go back to the previous occurrence of color i and remove all the way up to ball number n. In this case, say the previous occurrence is at color j, then we're only removing the balls from ball number i plus 1 all the way to n. Now let's come up with a dynamic programming formulation for this problem. Let's say we have a max removed array, which contains the max number of balls removed at position n. Remember from before that this is the maximum of three things. The first thing this is the max of is just the number of balls removed at position n minus 1, or max rem n minus 1. The other two things are a little harder, which involve removing ranges of balls. The second thing we need to take the max of is the max removed at the previous position of the current color, plus the number of extra balls removed. In this case, let's assume that we're starting our balls at position at the previous position, let's say i. So then we'll take the number of balls removed at position i minus 1 and add the current range, which starts at position i and ends at position n. Finally, we have to take the maximum of when we just add this sequence, which is the max removed at position i, and then, at, and then in addition removing the balls from ball number i plus 1 all the way to ball number n. So we're adding n minus i. Problem now. In this problem, we start with a number of test cases and we'll input into this. Now let's go through each test case. In each test case, we have an integer n, which is the number of balls we have. And we'll input into this number n. And let's create an array of our maxes. This is essentially our dynamic programming array in which we're going to keep track of everything, um, at, of the max number of balls we can remove at any, every point in time. And we're also going to have an array of previous indexes. 
And this is going to keep track of the previous index that a color occurred in. And we'll fill this with negative 1 at the start because no color has occurred just yet. Now we're going to go through our test case. Each test case consists of exactly n values, which will index from 1 to n for the sake of our array. And each of these values is a color for a current ball. And at each step, we're going to get a new color. And with this color, we have two determinations to make. First, we have to see if this color has ever occurred before. If it hasn't occurred before, then previous index of the color is going to be negative 1. And we have to make sure this is negative 1. And if the previous index of our co color has not occurred before, then we'll set the previous index of our color to just be i. And in our array of maxes, our max removed for our current position i is just going to be the same as i minus 1, because we can't remove anything with our current ball. And we'll continue through this because we don't want to go into the other case. Now let's go into the other case where our color has occurred before. In this, we have three cases. Either we're part of a continuous segment that's being removed already um, that's of our current color, and we just remove from the previous occurrence of our color to our current occurrence in addition to the previous segment that's being removed, or we remove the segment that's not part, not part of any other segment from the previous color to our current, or we don't remove anything. So in this case, the maxes of our current color is, is, is equal to the maxes of three things. Oh, maxes of our current index is the max of three things. It's the max of i minus 1, in which case we don't remove anything. Or it's the max of two things. Either we're part of a segment or we're not. If we're not part of a segment, then we just remove from the previous index pre its occurrence of our color to a current occurrence. And the previous occurrence of our color is going to be, and the number of balls removed at the previous occurrence of our color is going to be maxes of previous, uh, of previous index of color. And we're just going to, and we're overall going to remove the segment from our current to our previous index. So we're going to remove um, i minus our previous index of our color. And and we're going to, oh, it should be, yeah, these are the number of balls we're moving. And obviously, we have to add one, because we're also removing the left end. Or we're going past a previous color, which is already part of a segment. So uh, it should be this minus one, sorry. And otherwise, we're going past our previous color and removing that included. Uh, we're, no, we're removing that, or which is already removed. Color, and then plus i minus previous index of our color, because we're just removing from the next ball after the previous index uh, of our color to the current index. And thus, we've completed our dynamic programming formulation. Now what can we do with this? We want to change the previous index of our current color to be i. And finally, we just want to output after this for a loop with our current and, uh, what our current max is. Let's run this code. The original input was or for 1, 2, 1, 2 in the input. And let's see what comes out. Let's see what we get as our output. As our output, we get 4 and 3, which is clearly the correct answer. Plugging our code into the CodeForces website also shows that it works, and thus we have completed the problem. Thanks so much!